Hey guys, it's a Deep Eight Streams here once again back with another episode of this Seven Nights Idol Adventure. And uh, wow, we have five Golab heroes, guys, and the uh, two Seven Nights Idol Adventure heroes, in which uh, we have your Noah and also Jake. So uh, sad to say, only few of these uh, heroes are worth. So uh, today we will revise our tier list, guys. But before that, uh, let's check first the uh, information of this uh, Jake. So this is my free-to-play account. I haven't got any heroes here on this uh, free-to-play account guys and i got uh, those uh, heroes on my whale account so uh, if you are free to play i would suggest to follow my guide because uh, free to play and whale account have different priorities so mostly in a free to play we always uh, summon heroes that are worth in pve so we are on the pve side but on this uh, whale account or on uh, mid spenders and high spenders or maybe krakens guys you should uh, focus here on both pve and also pvp so let's uh, proceed here to this uh, jake so uh, by checking here the info of jake so we have here uh, the crit hit attack and this jake guys is a tank so this crit hit attack it obtains a uh, crit hit resist increase level 5 and it increases this crit hit rate resist by 20 percent so guys for example we have your ace and if you are a free to play or low spender I would suggest to only upgrade these uh, accessories above here. And these accessories below are for PvP. Especially this uh, critical hit rate resist. So going back to this uh, Jake guys, we have here critical hit rate resist. And this Jake as a defense type hero, this should be on PvP. And I think it is not worth on PvE guys. So on this uh, PvE tier list guys, Jake will fall on this b tier together with mirage because uh, sometimes uh, jake uh, can be useful especially for beginners in clearing stages if uh, they will be using rage type heroes on pvp guys jake will fall on this s tier because wow this is very decent guys using range type heroes because it reduces the cooldown of range type heroes and also he has a crit rate resist Next, guys, that would be Noah. So, if you will check and review this uh, Noah, we have here the crit hit rate. And this Noah is a melee type hero. So, it obtains a crit hit rate uh, increase uh, level 5 buff for 2 seconds upon successful attack. And uh, final damage increase by 15% when attacking cursed at target. And critical hit rate uh, increase that would be plus 20%. And the problem here is that uh, this hero is quite greedy because he only buffs herself. And this unit is quite nice to partner with heroes with the course effect. So by checking here also the active skill we have here, it grants a build level 5 to the caster uh, for 10 seconds. Then quickly moves to the target and damage uh, equal to 1250% uh, of attack and the skill damage is increased by 50% when attacking support type heroes. So uh, this hero guys is also uh, quite good in a PvE but uh, this hero is mainly on PvP guys because of this veal and also it has here a special skill that uh, it increases his uh, final damage when attacking support type uh, heroes and if you will check here guys it attacks a support type keywords first so this hero guys is only decent in a pve in some cases if you encounter those support type heroes or support type monsters and this is uh, a case to case scenario so you can only use this once in a blue moon. So guys, in a PvE tier list, this Noah will fall on this A tier. And we can only utilize the crit hit rate attack. In which it uh, increases damage to curse the targets. Next, in PvP guys, Noah will fall on this S tier. Because of her active skill in which uh, she is a support killer. And uh, if you will use uh, Lania for example... This Alenia will be obliterated instantly when the battle commences. But Soy will live longer compared to Lenya because Soy has a veal buff. So next guys, that would be Isol U. So if you will check here the crit hit attack, uh, it deals a crit hit damage equal to 250% of attack to the target and it can grant some accuracy to melee type allies plus 20%. And the DC hero guys is a melee type. If we will check here the uh, active skill, it deals 800% uh, of attack to the target and inflicts a Moon Maiden Sword debuff. So this uh, Moon Maiden Sword is somehow like uh, Ingrid's uh, debuff, guys. In which uh, this is uh, or this hero is mainly used in some uh, events or certain events. 
And uh, this hero is a combination of Ingrid and uh, Spike. And this is quite a decent hero for beginners, especially for players who just started the game. So guys, on this uh, PvE tier list, Isol you will fall on this S tier together with Spike and Ingrid. If you will double check the skill guys, the uh, crit hit attack will come from Spike. And also, the active skill will come from Ingrid. So, this is a combination of Ingrid and a Spike. So, this is also very decent for beginners, guys. And if you are playing the game about uh, two months or three months, better not to get this hero or get this hero for free only. Next on this uh, PvP tier list, this uh, Isol U will fall on this C tier together with Ingrid, Spike, also Feng Yan, Shang Yu, Zhao Yun, and uh, Misha. So next guys, we have here Yun Jung. So Yun Jung is a defense type hero in which uh, we have here the crit hit attack. And this is very, very simple. It deals crit hit damage equal to 150% of attack to the target. And the caster recovers 10% of HP upon successful attack. If you will compare this uh, with Lobo, for example. Uh, let's check Lobo, guys. Okay, we have your Lobo. So we have your recovers 12% of the caster's HP, guys. So uh, this is quite near to Lobo, but Lobo has this uh, super human strength buff in which it blocks all attacks. So if you will build this uh, hero, Yun Jung, in a full crit rate, so this hero would be best in uh, PvP and also in a PvE. And next, uh, that would be the active skill. So it grants uh, build buff uh, level 5 to the caster for 10 seconds and deals damage equal to 800% of attack to the target. And uh, this hero, guys, is somehow like a combination of Lucretia and Lubo. So on this uh, PvE tier list, Yun Jung will fall here at this S tier, together with Guan Yu, Lucretia, Weiser, Rudy, and Li Jung. Next on this uh, PvP tier list, this uh, Yun Jung will fall also on this S tier, together with Lucretia, Weiser, Rudy, and also Jake. Next, guys, that would be Baek Chun. So this uh, Big Chun is a melee type and if you will check here the crit hit attack, it deals hit crit hit damage equal to 200% of attack to the target and can grant precision strike level 5 buff to melee type allies for uh, 2 seconds. And this uh, precision, it increases the weakness attack rate by 20%. And this skill guys is somehow the same with Sun Wukong but it only buffs here the melee type allies and not the whole team. And uh, we have here the active skill. So it deals damage equal to 800% of attack to the target and can inflict Plum Blossom Cleave debuff for 10 seconds upon successful attack. And uh, this uh, Plum Blossom Cleave uh, deals a damage equal to 40% of attack every 0.2 seconds and this can be considered as Burn 2. So on a PvE tier list, this uh, Big Chun will fall on this uh, S tier guys because uh, he is a lower tier of San Wukong and this hero is best to use if you are a beginner. And on this uh, PvP tier list, this Baek Chun will fall on this A tier. And he is best to use on the Elite Arena, guys. If you don't have a Sun Wukong on your team, you can use this Baek Chun on your second or in the third team. So that he can provide also some weakness attack rate. Next, guys, that would be Jugul. So Jugul is a melee type hero and uh, we have here the crit hit attack. It deals crit hit damage that is a 150% of attack to the target and can gain uh, Gale level 5 uh, buff to melee type allies for 2 seconds upon successful attack. And uh, this is like Jave. So, and we have here also some uh, Falling Petal Sword. Deals uh, damage equal to 800% of attack to the target and inflicts uh, Petal Sword debuff for 10 seconds upon successful attack. And this uh, Falling Petal Sword deals damage equal to 40% of attack to the target every 0.2 second. And uh, this is also considered as Bleed. So guys, in this uh, PvE tier list, this Jugal will fall on this S tier because uh, they have some similarities of buff like Jave. If uh, you don't have uh, Teo or Jave, you can use this Jugal. And this Jugal is very decent for new players, guys. So guys, on this uh, PvP tier list, uh, Jugal will fall on this C tier. And uh, take a look at that Jave. Jave is on S tier. So uh, they have a similarity. So why is it that uh, Jave is on the S tier and Jugal will be on the C tier? This is because Jave has an instant active skill while Jugal has none. So Jugal cannot teleport to the target instantly but Jave can teleport to the target instantly. So that is why Jave is on the S tier while Jugal is on the C tier. And uh, finally we have here Chong Myung. 
So, Chong Myung is a melee uh, hero and uh, it deals a crit hit damage equal to 300% of attack to the target and this is quite huge guys. And it grants us uh, strike level 5 to allies for 2 seconds upon successful attack and also grants the blessed or the blessed dragon mount wa buff to the caster for 2 seconds and this strike is for all allies while this uh, blessed dragon is for self buff. And on my previous video guys, this stacks together with Dale. And also we have here the active skill in which uh, it deals damage equal to 1250% of attack to the target and can obtain this Master of the Blossoming Blade in which it increases crit hit rate by 20% and final accuracy by 50%. So this hero is very decent in uh, PvE guys and can replace Dalons. So guys, uh, this uh, hero will fall on this SS tier and if you will compare this with Delons, in my opinion, a 5-star Delons and a 1-star uh, Chong Myung is equal. Or almost equal. That is my opinion, guys. And next on the PvP, this uh, Chong Myung will fall on this S tier together with Ace. Because this Chong Myung, guys, is an independent hero. It does not need any crit hit rate buff from Rachel. So just like Ace, he is an independent hero. So most independent heroes are decent to use in a PvP. So you can use this hero on the Elite Arena on your second or third team. So guys, uh, we are now on this uh, potential dice. And on this uh, Chong Myung, I would suggest uh, full crit damage if you have lots of resources, especially for Krakens and Whales. And uh, if you are uh, a mid spender or low spender or maybe a free to play, I would suggest to combine uh, the attack and the crit damage build in order to save some resources and this build guys is uh, for both a pve and a pvp so guys uh, we have here two builds for jake that would be a uh, crit rate and uh, hp so both uh builds are decent to use guys and i have here some notes uh please uh, try to read this and if you want some uh, hp build i would suggest uh check your uh, crit rate especially on your pets guys and this is uh, quite decent on uh Arena, especially on the elite ones. And next, uh, we have here Noah. So, Noah is a full uh, crit damage. And you can also uh, use attack and crit damage combination. And this Noah is only uh, decent in a PvE. And we have here Iso Yule. So, uh, full crit damage. The same, guys. You can combine uh, attack and crit damage. And this is a mid-joker hero. Good only for beginners and players who played maybe uh, uh, almost one month. And also, we have here Yun Jung, full crit rate for Yun Jung, uh, decent in PvP uh, together with a range type heroes. And uh, you can also put some uh, HP on Yun Jung. And this Yun Jung is uh, the same with this Jake, guys. The same build with this Jake. So, alternative build that would be a uh, full HP. And if you have a decent crit rate, go for this uh, HP build. And next, we have here Jugul. So, Jugul uh, crit damage. And uh, if you don't have Teo, better use this uh, Jugul instead of Jade in PvE. So, next, uh, we have here uh, Big Chun. So, Big Chun, okay, uh, full crit damage. I have some intents here or uh, some notes on this uh, potential dice. So, I will change this to March. Uh, okay, we are already at March 8. Wow. March 8, 2024. So guys, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye.